What we're talking about today <coughs> is lists of collections. And essentially I'm going to display the list of collections on this multi-line text box. And in order to do that, I set the multi-line to true and the uh, word wrap to false. and the font to a monospace font, in this case Courier New 9.75 point. Now if we look at the uh, code behind of this program, see the main trick is a second class, which is called a class derinfo in this case. And we have four properties within this class with get and set accessors. And then in the event handler for the button, <coughs> we use an indefinite defined variable to uh, uh, create a uh, list of uh, type durinfo, which is the class down here. So in effect, we create an array of records. In terms of a database, this is like fields and records, or like columns and uh, rows if you use XY type terminology for a, a table. And because th we're using uh, properties, we need to use the lambda notation for creating the actual field values. So we have a new dir info for each record, and then have a name equals, and then the value of the name, number of files equals, and dir size equals, and space available equals which correspond to the name of, of these properties. And you can see I initially create four records directly within the initialization list for the list uh, angle bracket, dir info angle bracket. And then just to show I can, I set variables equal to local variables and then use a cur dir info dot add to add a record at runtime. We're using the new dir info and then an initializer list that specifies the uh, name of the field and equal to the value that we have in local variables for each case. And then at the bottom it calls the display dir info uh, local function. And that essentially just uses a for each to iterate through the uh, list of collections. And you can see we can pass the list of collections as a parameter. So that it, it allows you to pack a lot of data into one item you're specifying, which is very convenient. And as we go through the for each, we have a dir info uh, receiving variable that receives the current value as it loops through and then it sets these fields first to local variables and then uses a two string to convert them to string variables and then we use our string format to create a nice uh, fields you know the first field of 50 characters second field of 10 characters third field of 25 characters and so on and this one is uh, left justified and all the others are right justified since this has a negative field length and the others have positive field lengths and then we use the uh, text box dot append text to append this formatted string to uh, the multi-line text box and you notice we have a backslash n so each of these get put on their own line so once again, the display dir info has just passed the cur dir info uh, list of uh, collections that we defined. And then the parameter is defined to receive the list of dir info uh, list of collections. So if we uh, compile and run this and press the display list, you see we have our data nicely formatted and passed as a single parameter as a list of collections. 
Well, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and learned a lot. And I'd appreciate it if you'd survive. survive. Well, I'd appreciate it if you'd survive, but I'd also appreciate it if you'd uh, subscribe.